and welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ. Or just Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, whatever you want. It does roll right off the tongue, it doesn't does, it? does, yeah. Play the rules! As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week we will also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now it is time. This has suction cups on the bottom of it. Well, I'll be. I'll be. I said we got a live one. Now it is time for the Wheel of Energy. Oh uh, man, Ben. Do the honors. Okay, I guess it's up to you. Fireball. Oh, and it's gonna be fireball energy today. I don't feel like we see a lot of fireball energy, which means we don't see a lot of Flareon on skateboards, but will today. I'm actually kind of excited about Flareon and the whole skateboard move thing today, because when we were kids, we each picked one of the evolutions, and our little brother chose Jolteon and Jay chose Vaporeon, which meant that I had Flareon. So my boy is gonna be back there. Rocking look, at it, look at that, look at that. This is the best it's ever been. I love fireball day. Should we take shots of fireball? I, you know, if you have some on you, I would do one. I don't. Ethan, do you have shots on you? I can guess there's a liquor store right there. That's true. It would be hard, <laughs> although it would delay the process. We shall continue and do it later. All right. And now we need to reveal today's commonly, randomly chosen, commonly ha, chosen. You got it wrong, yeah, hilarious. Keep it in, Ethan, keep it in. And now we need to reveal today's randomly chosen common chase cards. They will be Fido, Mousehold, and Flittle. Are you excited about that Fido in there? I am excited about the Fido. I think we need to keep an eye on the Flittle. I think similar to last week, there are two Flittles. Why so do they do this? I don't know. It's because it's a brand new Pokemon and they're like, we want there to be a couple options for people. You know, and then, and then meanwhile, they gave us that Beautiful slow bro. Yeah, which is just like it's like okay Well, this is like one of the OGs and you gave us a beautiful version of that card So why not just make a really beautiful version of one of these cards and make it iconic in the process and therefore beloved Well, you know what there was I just solved Pokemon There was the toad school last week Which there are two common versions of and there's the illustrator art toad school as well So they kind of did do that. Okay Well, then maybe they should have just like eased it back in the other category But we did I think we pulled all three didn't we, we did we pulled all three so anyway, we'll see we'll see if we pull anything cool in the realm of flittles today. We sure shall. Let's see. Today's first contestant is going to be Jade, who Jade. is coming into the episode with five, four points. Uh, five, five, four four points. five, four points. Let's see. Can we get a fireball out of the first pack of the J? It feels it like it. does feel yeah, like you know, it. I don't know like, why, but I, it does oh. not. No, I was like, like I said, there's no chance. There was just no chance. Ever. Well, however, Jay did run a uh, Harry Potter feeling. fan club in high school, and we got the Harry Potter lightning bolt energy. So, so there you go. Yeah. Bam. So there we go. Charcadet will score. The Caps Kid won't. The Weasel, the Chess Plate, the Star Grunt, Zangers, Houndor will we'll score. score. The Wiglet, Wiglet does will. not. And the Reverum will. It's going to be. Three points out of the gate for Jade. And you get to, you know, you get an awesome rev room there. there Put it in go. your GLC deck, you know Just, what I mean? Yeah, exactly what I was gonna say as well. This GLC, which of course stands for Gym Leader Challenge. Or Good Luck Charlie. Good luck, Charlie. Or Gravy Locks the and Chalk. The card rev room is the reason I wanted to build a metal GLC deck. That's the reason. That was the reason. I was like, it's now viable, so. So that Not now song, The Reason the for reason. You, is now about rev room. That's right. Reason is you. All right, next up we have Vincent for Team Fire. So you know, hopefully that's he's got some uh, 
some extra juice going today with the fireball type advantage. He's got one point on the season. So last episode, not a single person with one point was able to repeat the one point. Can Vincent do it today and like clinch a last place finish? Nope, not even nope, a little bit. Not away. Him. The Fido. Well, oh, it's the wrong. Oh my Fido. gosh! The, oh my there's gosh! Two Fidos. What no. is happening? Look at this. So why, this is the why Fido. Why do they do this? This is the other one. I actually like the one that you've pulled better, just for what it's worth. So okay, so that, that Fido. That's, does, that's bad dough. Does it? Yeah, bad dough. Bad, bad dough. Dog. Uh, the Oink Cologne, the Breloom, the Kilowatt would have been good last week. The Squovit will not score. Oh, oh look the at the Clauncher! Oh, that is a beautiful card. I love it. And I don't even think it's over yet. I don't even think it's over yet. Uh, oh, it but is it is. Over, it is yeah. over. Okay, my Needy. bad. My bad. That's okay. But either way, the Clauncher, let's take a peek at that guy. Let's check that out. All right. That is excellent artwork. I'll sleeve that up for you while Ben's looking up the points. Give me the number on that it one. It is there. going to be 205. Two. Look zero. at that guy. Five. It must have like a camouflage effect or something. That's really cool. All right, Clauncher is going to give you a little bit of good rounding with two dollars two cents. It rounds up to three oh, points. So that's a five point pack right there. Not so bad. Not so bad. Right, Although well, once again, our our one pointers just have no ability to maintain that level thought? of of bad pull. Who would have thought last place was going to be so competitive this time around? I don't know. I don't Not know. Me. All right. Next up, we have another Lauren. Another Lauren. Which is how they have uh, designated themselves. It is. It says another Lauren. We have become uh, just inundated with Laurens. We sure apparently. have. Am I up? I think so. Okay. Right. I'll do Are it. you? Maybe you're not. Maybe no. we just switched it. I think or maybe we, did we didn't. Switch it. Yeah, because I think I pulled the Clauncher. Okay. No. Well, was, it, was that what it was? A Clauncher? It was a Clauncher. Teardrop energy for you right there. We got the, the Magnemite, the energy switch, the Varum, the Clauncher there's the, uh, again. There's the regular boring Clauncher. Boring. The Vitality Band, the Toxitricity, the Crocolore will score a point. Yes, the it Toxel will. The Toxel will not score a point. The Go Goat will not score, and the King Gambit. Hey, you know what? That's good because another Lauren loves dark types. Hey, so there we go. There you go. You got two uh, points on the board today. That brings another Lauren's count to seven on the season with one pack to go. Maybe you can use that in your dark type GLC deck, which stands for Gravy Locks and Chalk. Gravy Locks and Chalk. That sounds like. Not a great combination of food. Yeah, just, mostly the chalk is the, where you lost me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, maybe it could be like those. Remember they used to have like little can, candy sugar sticks that kind of like looked like chalk, but yeah. tasted like sugar instead. Mm, maybe yes, it could I be like that, that. And you just kind of like crunch it over top. Even so, that feels like great. I'm not even sure gravy and locks goes together very well, and well, then sugar not. on top doesn't seem great either. So. Whatever, whatever. You know what? King Gambit, not bad for your dark deck. Either way. Next up, that was another Lauren. This is just Lauren. Just Lauren. Not actually. It's. Lauren. Lauren. We should clarify because they do give us the uh, specified names that they'd like requested and the other was another Lauren. This one is simply Lauren. Minus the simply. Oh my gosh. I you did it, it anyway. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> You were trying to avoid I was trying that to, exact I know. Thing. I walked right into my own trap. <laughs> oh, teardrop oh, energy. Right. All right. So we have the Curly and the Switch. The, the Pua Coco, Coco will score. score. Tropius doesn't. Sandaconda. Katie. Star Raptor. Palmy. Starly and the Quack Quavel. So just a two point pack there for Lauren. Is there a world where last place is like gonna end up being like four points or something? Gosh, I guess there's a world where it happens and maybe that world is this one, but we really won't know until I guess next Next round, third pack. Okay, well we got a big heavy heater, hitter coming in today. Uh, coming in today in seventh place overall Ooh. with 24 points is Berkeley Comstock. Berkeley is also the leader for um, Electric Team right now with 24 points. So, so no matter what points are scored, we'll add to Team Electric's overall Oops. total. There we go, we got the Dark Teardrop mm. for ya. And then we got the, the Drifloon, the Sprigatito, the See, Flittle. the wrong Flittle. The wrong Flittle, you're right! Yep. Oh my gosh, wow. look at this, hang on, it's happened again. Bam. So this is Target Flittle, that's the other Flittle. They don't even look different they enough barely, to me to justify. I don't know why, Fl like Flittle doesn't even evolve into a Pokemon and it's like this big, like I don't know why they made it. Yeah. It's, I do not like it at all. It's super easy to run into in the wild because you can't see it. Anyway, not, not important. Not important, we got the Surviper, the Heracross, the Crocodile, the Flamigo, Ooh, the, the Charcadet will score, there we go, look at that. The Tarantula will not score, and the Meowscarada will, will score. Scores. So two points overall. So uh, Electric gets a tiny little bump up there in the standings, which they could certainly use could overall. certainly use. Their leader is in seventh place. Meanwhile, 
Uh, team Grass has four other members ahead of seventh. So. Yeah, so the overall team scores right now is Team Grass in first place with 211 points, Team Fire with 143, Team Electric with 93, and Team Water with 83. Man, so Electric needs some boosting here. All right, next up we have Veva, and Veva is uh, a last place contender with one point and eight cents. I'm starting to think the sense isn't even going to matter because so many people keep not just, getting. Just blast it. So if last anything, place. you should feel like you've got like a solid pack on your hands. A rock right, is pummeling. Rock is pummeling is what you want to see. You want no fire cards, no common chase cards at all. Lechonk, Watchel, so far so it's good. Happening. It's happening. The Flaffy, okay, could it be? We're doing it. The, the Toad, toad school. school. We've got nothing. The club. We've got oh! the double claw. Oh my gosh, we finally did it! Another single! No, it's not though, because this oh, is on the Oh my gosh! Course twice! What? Oh, it's so close! It's so close! That's a two-point pack right there. Man, Man. That's, gotta be, that's gotta be a contender for last What place, are the though. odds? What are the odds? Pretty bad. And the thing is, can you imagine, this would, like, as of when we start the next season, this is what we're talking about, this would count as a critical hit, and it would have multiplied it by two. And and if they had been Rockus Pumbling Energy, it would oh have gosh. multiplied it by four. Oh my gosh, that so, would have been why so in another in a different in a different season with a different uh, type advantage that was a wild pack. That would have been that would have been a hilariously especially for someone contending for last place. I know it'd be like well never mind. That was just pure insult to injury. <laughs> Alright next up we have Becky Borst coming into the season uh, into the into the day with six points on the season. Alright Becky let's see what we got for you here today. Ooh, no fireballs yet. Salad energy, the Skiddo, the Quaxley, the Squovit, the Charging Death Scores, score, the Slorges, the Muck, the Greedent, the Flabebe will not score, the Crocodile will not score. Oh, oh the, the Gardevoir. Gardevoir! There we go, the Gardevoir EX, amazingly competitive card. Yes, I believe one we of the best in the few, game right now. A few of these right now, and this this feels like it could have been in bulk EX, but it's such a competitive card. It is not. Comes in at eight dollars three cents. Rounds up to nine dollars. Good rounding. So it's a ten point pack for ten Becky. Point. Very impressive. Well Very, done. Is Becky in the top uh, five of? Uh, I think that's going to bring her into the top five of Electric because she's at sixteen, 16 points yeah. now. So that'll that'll put one, you. Two, three, four, five. Uh, barely, barely. Barely, yeah. So that's, yep. that's a one point for Team Electric. <laughs> there we go. They're, they're you did it. Just clogging their way back today. Very Bam. impressive. I feel like the the big thing now that's so interesting about that team competition is that uh, Team uh, Grass has done such a great job pulling a hardy lead, but it's so much harder for them to like really contribute in a significant way. Right. Um, and so now it's like the, the field is really open for anybody in the back of the pack to start like getting to like, yeah, make distance. big chunks up right. there. So it's been a while since we've had like that, that illustrator art Miriam pull too. I feel like another one is like working its way towards a, a we, we pack should be here. due for something. Gotta be working gotta be gotta be somewhere. Uh, next up is Peabody Coco coming in with three points on uh, the season thus far. Let's see how they do. Can we get our fireball? No, no another salad yet, energy. Yeah. There's the Pokeball, the Rotom, the Palpad, the Flabebe. Have we had any common chase cards yet? Maybe not. We haven't even talked about the Mousehold, which is yeah. the other one. It hasn't shown its face at all. The Rare Candy and the Palmot. So there you go, actually. Uh, a rare single point pack. Actually, no, I'm sorry, the Indeedy scores. That's a two point pack. <laughs> we keep almost we missing keep it. We keep almost yeah. missing it. There we go. The Indeedy is a rare card, so it does score. Uh, so that brings Peabody Coco up to five on the season. Not going to be enough to score any points for Team Electric, though, unfortunately. But yeah, like um, again, uh, we're, we're looking at that Big Steve award where Big Steve has already pulled all three of his packs. He has 11 points overall. We do have one person, EK Sko, with 12 points sitting right above Big Steve. So that's going to be another competition that I think is going to really heat up next month when Absolutely. everybody starts pulling their final like, packs. Like who's going to get to that 12 point spot? Right. And then we're going to have to start keeping track of like how how close is everybody above Big Steve. Indeed. All right. So uh, you're up, Ben, for Sydney, who has two points on the season. They're a hairstylist from Texas. Texas, who started collecting Pokemon cards at six or seven. Oh my gosh, okay. Man. How many points coming into the day? Two. Just two points, okay. Well, at least we got the Houndor oh, right, right, right off the bat. The Satoddle, the Magikarp, the Magnemite, the Ferretris, the Rocky Helmet, the Mabostiff, the Caspa Kid will not score, the Lechonk will not score, and the Miraidon will score. So another two points, there you go. Very consistent player thus far, four on the season. There we go, not so bad. And, and honestly, the rate we're going, again, that could be that could be a contender for last place. Yeah, man. Also, speaking of Texas, we're going to be in Texas uh, later this year for RTX. Yes, July 7th through the 9th. Uh, if you've ever joined us for a version of the Super Carlin Brothers Live 
trivia. We'll be doing that in person yes. if you'd like to come, and then we'll actually have a meet and greet to follow. We'll put a link in the description down below if you'd like to go and check out tickets. We'd love to meet you. Last year at RTX, we found this awesome Pokemon store, like the day a new set had dropped, and it was like it was like being in a candy store, you it know, was, except it was a Pokemon store. He was so excited. <laughs> it was. It was like, oh, we were trying to find prizes for the trivia event, uh, and we stumbled into the store instead, and it was like, wait, what's happening? What's happening? What is this? Yes. It was really fun. Anyway. There's also Pokemon cards at RTX, so, you know. Lots to do, lots to do. Let's see. Fireball! Hey! There it is! All right, this is for Mostwig. We didn't bum, even announce bum, who it's bum, for. Bum. All right, Mostwig. Chance to score for Team Water here, the Zangoose. Team the cool Water girl. currently in last place of wow. by the by. And so far, not doing much with this pack, but you can always pull a big one at the end. The Magikarp won't score. The Watro won't score. The oh, Uncle will score! Okay, okay so I want to say, though, not that I, valuable. Not that much, I know. It may it may <coughs> literally just be a single Because I think we had the full art Oink alone, and I was surprised at how little it was. Okay, it's, it is a little bit better than I would have thought, although, unfortunately, zero rounding, because it's worth $2 oh, one even. one cent off the, the full round. I know, so that, that would have, and what's interesting is that if it had one more cent, it would have been worth three, which would have made this pack worth six, but instead it's just worth two, times two is four. So four, so actually, that brings Mostwig also being really consistent this season. That's four points twice in a row. That's eight overall on the season. Not enough to make it onto the leaderboard for water, though, I don't think. I don't think so, yeah. I well, think, maybe. I think we've got 11 right here. Oh, you're right. So yeah. one, yeah, two, yeah. three. Yeah, yeah. Nope. Sorry about that. I guess you could come up with a tiebreaker. There we go. All right. Oh, Ben, Ben. Last week we didn't have any rookies, but this week we do. I think there are four rookies in the field this week. We have Jazzy J Truther. <laughs> Great name. Amazing. Great name. Uh, so we are, our uh, the Olive Garden uh, gift card is in play, which is a real competition. If you are, if this is your first pack ever, and you have the most points of all the rookies, you get a ten dollar Olive Garden gift card. Um, let's see. Uh, Jazzy J Truther has been watching SCB since he was in high since he was a high school sophomore. Now twenty three and helps run the aquarium section at his mom's what? pet store. So man. Great, just sounds like a, a, a brilliant trajectory for your entire life. I, truly though, truly though, I I, I too have uh, run many. Oh, thank you. Uh, I too have run many a, uh, a fish department in my in my my tenure as an aquarium hobbyist. So shout out. A little a little disappointed that you're a Jazzy J truther, but you know I mean it is what it is. Uh, there's a lightning bolt energy for you, a Toxel, a Ralt, a Growlithe score, score, the Shuppet, the Floatzel, the Miriam, the Rock Chestplate, the Grimer. Oh, oh, the Fido! Amazing! What? Love that. Look at that adorable little Fido there, and the Cyclozar. And the Cyclozar. Okay. Bad. So actually, this is what we called bad Fido earlier, um, in terms of like, this is the chase card one, so this is the nicer version of the other. Fido. There we go. But whatever. Obviously, this one had the better art anyway. So. Yes, yeah. Well, let's go to, to number 213 on the set. See what your value is going to be, which is $4.34. So that'll round up to uh, five, five, six, six seven, seven points. Seven points. That is Boy, not bad pretty for our good. rookie of the day. That is. Jazzy J. J. Truther. Jazzy J. Truther, seven points. Why, well, I know who I'm rooting for. There you go. All right, Fido on the board. It's crazy that that Fido is worth more than the Oink alone. I know. That is wild. Yeah. People like the illustrator. Right, next up, we have Tyler Gillies, oh, who's coming in with 50 points. This is our second place player overall. Oh my gosh, yeah. Man. So Tyler Gillies about to score some points for Team Fire, yeah. no matter what. No matter what. Uh, who, who are trying to claw their way back against Team Grass. Again, 211 for Team Grass and 143 for Team Fire. All right, so. they also trail Margo for the first place by 29 points. So if this is like a wild pack and they get like another 30 points or something, uh, they could take the lead from Margo, That'd be a, which yeah, would be, be pretty, pretty wild. Cool. So oh, okay. metal we're energy, so not going to get any help on the multiplier, but the, the Fumiko goes, goes in right place. There. That's yep. one point for you. Stonjourner, the Penny, the Slowpoke, the Dawlev, and the Klefki. So unfortunately, not a big uh, clog back. They're just going to bring you up to 52 points on the season for Tyler, so still trails by 27 but increases the point total for fire by at least two points, I there suppose. There we go, yeah, very impressive, very impressive. So, you know, nothing, not nothing against Team Grass there. Oh man, Ben, next up, another contender for last place. We have Emily Stock. All right. You also, there, uh, she has nine cents on her lone point on the season. Can Emily get into last place? Let's see here. 
Oh, what am I doing here? I am like completely off my game. Wow. The rock, a rock is pummeling. pummeling. Alright, Emily, we got this for you. We got this. Let's, Let's see. see. Let's see. What the Tarantula. The Charcadet. The Charcadet will score. The Potion. The Vivalon. The Dock Spun. Mm, the the Tarkal scores. There we go. Torkoal. Uh, Squawkabilly, the Pachirisu will not score, and the, the Houndstone. So bam, it's going to be a three-point three pack. pack Probably knocks Emily out of the last place position there, unfortunately. But uh, you never know. Apparently, last place is going to be more. Is it could be above three points? It could be. It could, very well could be. You yep. never know. You never know. All right. Speaking of which, though, we have Brylev. The uh, power couple combo of Brian and Olivia. They also have a single point on the season. At 19 cents, I would have said a single point at 19 cents was really bad because a lot of people are down like below a, below a dime. Right, yes. But, um, you know, the way people keep scoring, just getting a single point at all is going to be really powerful. All right, so that's what they want to see. They want, no, there's Tandem Mouse, which evolves into our common uh, chase card. Small of the Palmy, the Lucaria. So far, looking good. Team Star Grunt, the Crocorock, the Mareep, and oh, the oh Halucha! Okay, so we do need to look that up because we finally have a repeat one point performance. You knew the power couple was going to do it. You and know that's what? a 13 cent player wow. card right there. So, again, even something that we normally would have been like, ooh, kind of high scoring a for, bit. for last place. But instead, I think that Brylive are now making a uh, got champions a level showing for last place. They've got a point apiece a so point far. A piece. So four. You got y'all getting I'm getting all tongue tied over here. Alright, next up is Dylan Clark, who okay, this is maybe competition for Brylev because they've got 15 cents on right. the season on their single point. So let's see, can someone else immediately make it competitive? We're about to find out. So we got the energy switch, the Varum, the Clauncher, the Skiddo, the Miriam, the Spirit Tomb. We're looking great so far. So Ultra far. Ball, the Rotom won't score. The Wogtrio won't score. And oh, the Quack Oh my gosh, so wait, what is the Quack Quabble <laughs> Oh my at? gosh, hang on Hold a second. On. We're going to have to do a quick comparison because the Quack Quabble is going to come in at 10 cents overall. I think Dylan oh my gosh, maybe they, just... They, they did because they're at 25 cents total, whereas Brylive is at 32 cents total, so Goodness. just like that, Dylan Clark sweeps in for last place. Like, wow. we've, been, we've been looking for it, like, all last week, and, and, and now, here it is. It in two happened. packs, back to backs, we're gonna have, I mean, Dylan Clark, we're just gonna have to write down rivalry with Brylive here, right? Right, yeah, I think at this Brylive. point it really is just, maybe maybe pull Brylive's out and make sure we have good documentation yeah, well, that they also sure. are, are arch nemesis. Right, yes. Arch nemesis. Do, do. Dylan Clark. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. It is officially on. There it is, you guys. We got, we're keeping track of it for you. Don't you worry. All right. Next up, we have Andriana. Andriana. Oh, man. Can it? Can we three-peat here? Because Andriana has nine cents. So can she sweep in from Dylan? Goodness gracious. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know how we ended up having these guys all lined up against each other. Maybe they were Maybe they were like talking smack inside of the box before the... It feels like there's a lot of trash talk happening. It, it does feel sure. that way. We got the Buizel, the Energy Retrieval, the Lechonk, the Slowpoke, oh the Scovelin. Is it going to happen? Alone, the Breloom, the Curlia will not score, the Sprigadino will not score, and the Claw! Oh wait, what is the Claw for? That's okay. got that's got to be terrible. That's got to be just absolutely awful. Just, just, not, and it is! Seven cents. Oh my gosh, and just like that, Dylan Clark has been undercut by Andriana! <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> this is so weird. We were looking for this all last week, and we just kept being like... Shut down. 16 cents. Oh my gosh, we've gone from 32 to 25 to 16 in three packs. That uh, is, it's hilarious to me that, that like literally it's even becoming more and more competitive. But the next person, Earth. Okay, okay, Earth. Um, Earth uh, has four points on the season, so not in contention for last place. Okay, okay. Let's uh, see. I think you're up. All right, Earth is currently playing through Platinum for the first time ever. For our first ever Pokemon randomizer. Ooh, okay, okay. Oh uh, boy, Pokemon randomizers, y'all. Real fun, real fun. Is that basically where you can just catch anything at any point in time? <clears throat> yeah, basically. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that's I real love fun. that. All right, got the teardrop, teardrop energy. energy. The Rotom, the Palpad, the Flabebe, the Toxel, Medicham, Quaxwell, Cyclozar, Palmo, Pokeball, and the Skeledurge, which will be worth two points because of the uh, type advantage you today. You are correct, yes indeed. Bringing Earth uh, up to six points. There we go. Okay. Okay. Go. So again, probably someone we're going to start looking at next month as we start really examining that big Steve award to kind right. of pull like a five pack or a six pack in there to make it super competitive. All right. Next up, we have Andy, who's coming in with two points. Uh, this is our uh, our famous duck pin bowler. Oh yes. Yes. Yeah, so maybe they'll get some uh, some Quaxleys in here. 
I see one literally right wow. on top. The How appropriate. Duck pin bowling, duck bill Pokemon. And we got the Squovit, the Charcadet will score. score, the Lechonk, the Espathra, the Arvin, the Cacturn. Maridon the Maridon will scores. score, yeah. And the the Riolu will not, not score. Yeah. And the Professor's Research will so, score. Three point pack on the day. Not too bad, not too bad. We've seen that Maridon be lots of people's just plain rare card, and you yeah. got it as a reverse hollow, so that's pretty fun. Pretty solid. There you go. That's going to be five points on the season for Andy. Next up is Tex. Tex. Tex is coming in with three points. Three whole points? Yep. Wow. B -b 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 wow, Tex. Let's see. What can we do for Tex here? You feeling something good? It feels like we're due. We had like our th our like single point packs for a while there. I don't think we've had like a real big pull like yet an today. Altar, gold. Yeah, something. something Secret rare. Come on, Tex. Let's see what you got. Got three the bang time, the Clawitzer, the Zangoose, the Youngster, Flappy, the Hypno does not score, the Reverum does not or oh, does, does score, score and the, the Annihilate. So just a two-point pack just there. Two point I feel pack. like we are building towards something big here as Tex uh puts uh totals five on the season. There. I feel I feel like it's like Jay and Ben used Bide. What oh yeah, we used Bide. So we're just storing energy. Just storing energy. Just storing energy here. Let's see, uh, Chris K is at five on the season. Okay. And okay. Uh, makes band merch for a living. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Man. Let's see what is Chris K going to do. Whoops. Okay, there we go. So we got the salad energy salad right off energy, the top. All Very right. Beautiful. We got the Watt Troll, the Zangoose, the Crow Gunk, the Dedenne, the Kilowatt Troll, the Heracross, the Flamigo. Man, just absolutely mm, nothing so across far, our nothing yet. type advantage. A randomly chosen common chase cards. The Potion will not score. The Drifloon will not score. And the Reverune does score. Just the single point. Oh, man. Just. Uh, that single point is not what you want to see so much here at the uh, the middle stage, though, if you've already scored some points. Although, you're at six on the season, so six. maybe you're at like a big Steve contention yeah, there. there. You never go. know. You, you never do know. never know. I mean, realistically, coming into the day, Tyler Gillies had 50 points with only one card. So really, anything can happen at any point in time. That's right. Uh, next up we have uh, Games Bun. Games has, Bun. Uh, Games Bun has nine cents on the season, and the number to beat is 16 cents, apparently, for last place. So let's see if Games Bun here can get, I don't even know if it's possible. I think I think they would need like the seven cent card to remain in contention at the moment. What is right? our what is our current low? Is it sixteen? 16 cents? Okay, yeah. okay. And that would just tie them. So let's see. Bam salad energy yeah, again. The Roth. Well, it doesn't matter. Yep, there yeah, we the go. The Growlithe is there, the tandem mouse, the toad scroll. The mouse hole. There we the go. Hay. It's our first one of the day. First one. Is this our first chase card of the day anyway? I think it is. It could be, could be, yeah. The Bisharp, the Picnic Basket, and the, the Research. Okay. So that's gonna be a three point pack overall for Games Bun. And we do know, I think the Professor's Research comes in at about a quarter, about 25 cents. So oh, yeah, I so. do think that that probably would have been a pretty competitive uh, in terms, again, we're getting into that like total rare card value at the bottom. Pretty there. non competitive. Pretty non competitive, yes. Yeah. Competitive in the wrong way. Competitive in the wrong way. Next up, though, same situation for uh, Cal, who also has nine cents on a single pack after one. So also maybe looking for like a seven center here. Okay. okay. But any, even just getting a single point is good because you never know what's going to happen in the third round. You really never do. And it got the Tarantula, yeah. the Wattrel, the Crocorock, the Mankey, the Mezagoza, the Drift Blim, the Defiance Band. The Penny will not score. The Drowsy will not score. And the Cyclozar. Oh, man. Okay. So this so is a single pointer. Is this what they are? Pointer. And I, uh, I do think that that Cyclozar is, is pretty nothing. Pretty low. No, it, is, it is perfectly nothing special coming in at seven cents. Wow. That's exactly what they wanted. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. So now we have a tie for... Uh, last place at 16 cents and two points. That is crazy. That I cannot is believe just... Like the the battle happening at the bottom. I know, I know. I don't know if it's like the fact that that our uh, type advantage for the day is that fireball energy, and yeah, it's just and like just not showing up a lot. Right. But people were getting. I mean, last week we thought over and over and over again it was going to happen, and it didn't. And it didn't. All right. Well, anyway, next up we got Johnny, who works as a casino pit boss and game dealer, so knows a few things about gaming. Ooh. Can they pull something big? It feels like they are due the jackpot. I, I do, Here. yeah, I am looking back Metal at all their energy. prior pulls, it doesn't seem like they've had anything super exciting happen so far, so it does feel like they should be due. But it could happen. Could today be the day? The Zangoose and- Oh, oh! indeed! The full art professor's research. There are actually two different full art professor researches in the set. This is the more valuable one and the uh, harder one to pull, I think. I think I 
pulled like five of the other one. Oh wow, that's unbelievable. Yeah, that one's gonna come in at uh, number two forty on the set, worth twelve dollars twenty one cents. Whoa, so thirteen, 13 points. points right there. That's Bam, a beautiful for Johnny, card for you. That's so we'll awesome. Be sure to sleeve that up for yeah. you. I think that's the that's the big break. That might be the biggest pull that Johnny has had I ever since season two. Yeah, I mean that is Johnny's best pull ever, at least according to my card here. Well done. Very Professor's well. Professor's research, awesome, and you can put that in basically any deck. So, really good. And it's always cooler to play with full art cards, you know. Yeah, yeah, just a little, little flex. Right, there. next up is Xander, who uh, now he has 15 cents on a single point, so probably looking for one point, but uh, and then they'll have to like, really like uh, bottom out on the next round, because obviously we know there's not a single cent uh, card that he can be going for here. All right, let's so see. let's find out. All right, so we got the, the eyeball energy, which I don't feel like we've seen many of today. The switch, the curlia, the fui coco score, scores. the tropius, the crocodile, the foretress, the rocky helmet, the tropius. Second not tropius. Score. Oh, you're right. Yep. So that would be a critical hit uh, starting next season. Next Zeme season doesn't score. And oh, oh, the full art Bennett. That's pretty cool. That is very I don't cool. Think we've seen that one yet. No, I don't think so either. Let's take a peek to see the value on that guy. Number two twenty nine on the says we're three dollars five cents. We'll round up to four points overall. And uh, five points on the on the day with that Fui Coco. Fui Coco. So That's six a, total on the season. Beautiful card. And again, uh, next season having that that double Tropius would have given you a two times multiplier. So that would have <coughs> given a little extra umph to that. You're right. That would have been a 10 point pack um, next season. Next season, not now. All right, next up is Justin H coming in with 14 points. So pretty solid there. Now on a lot of other teams, oh actually no, ju is Justin uh, one, two, three, four? One, two, three, four, five. No, yeah. No, so. okay, so just and on other teams, 14 would probably put you in a scoring position, but if Justin does well with this poll, he could jump into a scoring position for Team Grass. So let's see, how can we do it, how can we do it? Uh, he's been collecting for 20 years and at least when he wrote the card, uh, has recently pulled a Pikachu VMAX worth almost $50. Let's hey, see, hey. can you pull something worth 50 today? Another eyeball energy. I know, yeah, There's there the Smolev, the Primate, the Tarantula, the Toxtricity, the Muck, the, the Crocolor scores, the, the Growler score. scores. The Sandow does it. Oh, but oh. the Iron Treads EX. There you go. That's awesome. There we go. So I don't think it'd be quite worth your Pikachu at 50, but let's see what the one number 143 on the set with yeah. that Iron Treads. Is it Treads. bulk EX or not? Unfortunately, it is coming oh, in at 60 no. cents overall. So just a single point for that full art by Man, which so way. just three points on the day. It's so it's such a bummer when you do pull a big card and it's still not worth more than a point. I know. That's it's like, oh, come on. Let's go. Anyway, 17 uh, points overall on the season then uh, for Justin H. And then Iron Treads is coming your way. Next up, we've got Ben C. Ben not C. This one. Not this one, not me, no. but it, currently in seven, uh, in 17th place overall with 17 points coming into the day. So and in third place for Team Water. So this will score points for Team Water no matter what it is. No matter what it is. Let's see here. So we've got the Rockus Pummeling Energy, the Squawkabilly, the Caspa Kid, the Alola Mola, the Palmo, the Tatsugiri, the That's Nest Ball scores. is worth two. The Pachirisu will not. Let's see, the Palmot will will score. Uh -oh. The Magnemite will not. Oh, and, and the, the Coridon EX. EX! Bam! Well, that's one of the mascot Pokemon, so you'd think it'd be worth some points. Let's see, although there's like four versions of it you can pull, and this <sighs> is the lowest value. It is, unfortunately, at $1.07, so worth oh, two. Oh, just two, so two, three, four, five. Five points overall on the pack, though, so not, not terrible. Not, not, not too terrible bad. Display. Especially because it's five points for Team Water, which I want to say desperately needs it. Yeah, let's see, <laughs> Team Water currently is in last place. Place with uh, coming in today with only 83 points, so that should should take him up just a little bit. Yeah, we'll see if it's enough. All right, next up is Brian O, another last place contender here, coming in at nine cents on the season. So, so we're looking at again for like that Cyclozar yeah, to get you that, right to 16. They want that Cyclozar. Can we do it again? I mean, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Maybe we'll go big. Maybe it'll be the Miriam. You know? Could you imagine? <laughs> Could you imagine? That would be wild. They wouldn't even be in first place, though, I don't think. Oh, right? my goodness gracious. You that would be right. yeah. crazy. Let's see. Oh! oh okay. Unless, uh, you um, know what? Less. I stand corrected. Yeah, if you have the Miriam, go. you're far and away in first place. This, Although, could, be, this could be huge this for Team be, Fire. This could be huge. Toadstool. Well, the Houndoom, Houndoom that's a good. Right yeah, the there. Fido is not the right one. Not though, the right Fido. The Florigato, the XP share, the Stone Journer, the Cacturn, the Dollar doesn't score, and the Arbaliva doesn't score. Well, it does it score. It does score, just not a lot. Not a yeah. lot. So just so four, four points, points on, on the pack, pack, unfortunately. Well, not unfortunately, you know. <laughs> you got the Arbaliva. Maybe they. Maybe you're a big fan. I know a lot of people like the small of. The small of small of and the doll of. So there you go. All right, Brian. Oh, well done. 
Arbaliva coming your way. Next up is Shauna. Ooh, with seven cents. Seven so, cents. Okay, so there. So if this is the Cyclozar, Shauna will again undercut the. Uh, <laughs> and this has been like the weirdest, biggest battle for last place we've I ever know. seen. So the Pokeball, the Rotom, the Palpad, the Flabebe, the Mabostiff, the Miriam, the Spirit Tomb, the Energy Switch. Oh, oh the Starly! So not going to be a last place contender. It doesn't look like two scoring cards here. What's that Starly going to come in at? Let's see, number 221, 221 on the set. Dollar ninety-eight. So not oh, a lot of rounding room, unfortunately. Bad rounding. So two points for the Starly, so one point for the Palmot. All. Actually, you know what? I wrote down seven cents on the, but they had four points to begin with. So I'm not even sure what we were looking for. Oh, that may have been uh, rookie of the day. Oh, Is you're that right. We were, that we was rookie of the day. To, yeah, trying to figure out whether or not there would be like a, a tiebreaker or anything. So. Okay, um, so never mind. So never mind. So just seven points overall in the season. There we go. All right. Speaking of rookie of the day, Ben, we have our next rookie. Is this only right. our second one today? Just our second one of the day. The number Which means we have is, some left. We, yeah, I know. We should have at least uh, the, um, Goddess Princess. Goddess Princess, <coughs> who is uh, gunning for Jazzy J Truther. Yeah, who has seven points, which is going to be pretty tough to beat, you think, for rookie of the day, but certainly not impossible. All right, let's see what Goddess Princess can do with their first pack ever. They, they're packing salad energy. You got the Magneton, the Clawitzer, the Graveyard, the Florges, the Greedent, Vivalon, Clawitzer, Youngster, and the Armor Rouge. So not going to be doing so much. That's going to be a two-point pack, one for the rare and one for the fire. So Goddess Princess makes their first appearance with two points, two but points. isn't heading to the Olive Garden. I'll uh, tell you what. Sorry. Although I mean, you're always more than allowed to go. Just on I mean, your you can go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, you just won't have the additional so gift card. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, next up is Alicia May, who comes in with three points on the season. All right, Alicia. Let's see what we can do for oh, team. Okay, this says the same birthday as Peter Parker, August 10th. But I, I swear, I thought it said same body as Peter Parker, and I was like, well, that's a weird comparison. <laughs> also, Alicia, very maybe, impressive. Maybe Alicia May is Spider Man. <gasps> New head cannon. New you should probably cannon. add that to their fun fact. Right, they I'm just, just right are, in here. fact. There's the Toad School, the Rotom. Look at that. Last week, that would have been like a, like the one-two punch, just about. If those are the right if, ones. If those are the right ones. Uh, the Chansey, the Rare Candy, the Picnic Basket, the Bombardier, yep. uh, the Hypno, the Drift Blim will not score. The Meowscarada will score, and Whoa. the Skeledurge will get two points for being the fire type. So three points Three again. points overall. There you go. That's going to bring you to six on the total for Alicia May. Oh, it's so funny that it's... Uh, a dot May, Aunt May, Spider Man. <gasps> oh come on, we it's we're on to you. We're, we're on, on to you, you Alicia. On, I, I like this this well, this well, version well, of the Spider Verse. Well, 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 well. All right. Oh man, here we go. Next rookie of the day. It's Danielle Murray, who is uh, going to be aiming for eight points on their pack. Can they do it? Can we get eight points to knock off Jazzy J Truther? Going to find out real soon. Bam. Oh, Dark Cure drops. They're not getting the type advantage help there. Got the Scatterbug, the Sprigatidu. Man, oh. you really want Salad or Eyeball yeah. on the on it the is, Wheel of Energy. It is the wrong Flittle, just for what it's worth. Wrong Flittle, yep. yep. The Satitan and the Dondozo. So unfortunately, just a single point in their rookie debut for Danielle Murray. Uh, they are Jazzy J Truther is like sweating in their seat. Like, am I gonna am I gonna win rookie of the day? Was there any Could part of you that was gonna be? say sweating in their socks? Because sweating in their socks. I, I really thought you were gonna say sweating in their socks. Uh, that did not cross my mind. No. Okay. Well, so. it, man, I just it felt like tip of the tongue. I was like right there. Maybe okay, you're so, inventing a new uh, season. Yeah, there we go. So Hallgrid. <laughs> Hallgrid coming in. A, Hogger has had like some some pretty impressive uh, showing so far with 17 on their first pull, six on their second. So really someone uh, maybe to keep an eye on as we move forward into the future. I do have a, I have just like a feeling. You, you know, feeling about I, just, this I just got like a feeling. Uh, we got the Toxel, the Ralts, the Growlithe will score, score. the go. Tandem Mouse will not score, the Ultra Ball, the Aspathra, the Arvin. The Spupa will not score. The Energy Search will not score. Was I wrong? And I was oh, wrong. Oh, the, the Annihilate. So two just points. Two points there for Hogrid, who jumps down or jumps up to eight points on the season. I uh, got that cool Annihilate. I have an Annihilate on my Scarlet and Violet team. Right there we now. go. Well, so and again, you the so eight points on the season. That'll only put you four points out of contention for Big Steve. So something to look forward to next month. All right, Ben. Final rookie of the day contender. It's Rob Rangoon. Rob. Yeah. That's Rob, like Broccoli Rob. Broccoli Rob? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, all right. Let's see if Rob can pull out a small victory for Team Water and uh, 
take it home. I know Team Water take really, really needs day. like a like an icon. Can they, they deliver a, rally a raucous pummeling? Let's find out. The Moshchip, the Pawnard, the Wiglet, the Toad School. The Torkoal. Dax, the Torkoal does score. The Scovelin does not. The Aloma Mola does not. The Mouse Mousehole does. does. And the, the Coridon. So, so just going to be a three, three point pack, unfortunately, which means Jazzy J Truther uh, is going to be our rookie of the day with seven points. Bravo. Bravo. I, I can't even be upset because they're they're also like a fellow like aquarium person. Yeah, know? right. So exactly. it's like it's like there's a part of me that like wants to wants to feel like jaded and hurt as, mm -hmm. a, as a true buzzy bee myself. Sure. Right. Can, but, uh, considering I am, I am the person. Can mustard it. I can't mustard it. Nope. All right. Next up, we have Kitten Ninja. Kitten Ninja. Their favorite Pokemon is Charizard and Jolteon. Uh, sadly, that neither of those Pokemon are in the set, so we can't pull one for you. But maybe we can get a Fireball Energy. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Can it, it be? Like no, it's more yeah, Salad. Yeah, yeah, There's not been a lot of type advantage. Today. We do have the Fido. Oh, oh yes, the go. scoring Fido at long last. The Dedenne, the, the Pine Oh, wrong the, Flittle. Wrong Flittle, unfortunately. Wow. The Beach Court. Have we had the a scoring Conda. Flittle all day? Maybe not. That's so M weird. Maybe that Flittle is actually like dangerously rare. Somehow. Maybe. Uh, the Staraptor, the Vivalon will not score, the Smoliv will not score, and the Klefki will. So that's going to be two points for Kitten Ninja. Kitten Ninja. And Kitten. some and some honorary J points for that Klefki there. Yeah, that's true. You do. I do love a good Klefki. It's there one of my are. one of my faves. What a good, what a solid Pokemon. Uh, next up is Lauren B. Lauren, our, our third Lauren of the day. Third Lauren of the day. Lauren uh, must have pulled something pretty solid because they have a single point, but it was worth 59 cents. So it must be like the best single point card. Or it's probably an EX, I bet is what it I was. Bet, I bet you're right, yeah. But that's what yeah. happened. Something that yeah. was like, kind of like that bold V category. Right, let's see. Uh, bam. Fireball! All right, All right. here we go. Okay. Lauren B is, is just... She's ready. Just cracking gonna, knuckles. Can it, can it be? The, the hound door man. All right, right away. Right. Yeah, Bam, we there it. we, we go. It. Out of the Cyclozar, the Toad School, the Mouse, mouse hole. Boom! Up. All right. Four. Kilowattro would have scored last week. Oh! The gold basic energy. You love to see it. Oh, can you imagine if it had been fire? And the slow bro. Oh my gosh, what a pack. What, what a, a pack, pack for Lauren B. I know. Cracks her knuckles, launches a fireball, lands a raucous pummeling. Very man. impressive, very impressive. Now, as a reminder, there are two gold energies in this set. This is the lesser of the two, but it doesn't make it like significantly less valuable. It's going to come in at uh, $5.79. We'll round up to six. So six, seven, eight, Nine times two. Times two is 18 points on the pack. Very impressive. Bam. Very that impressive. is going to bring Lauren B up to 19 on the season. Unfortunately, doesn't break in. No, wait. Is that for the... Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, that will break into the top five of Team Electric. Yes, absolutely. I think that'll, that'll be a nice little boost for Team Electric so far. Um... Right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Be. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so that's that's something that's something good for Team Electric, who's also trying to to see if they can't really start, you know, clawing their way back in, in uh, third place overall on that team competition. Oh man, it's really quite a gap, though. <laughs> a little bit of room anyway, to fill. Well, either way, you get this amazing gold fighting energy. So well done, Bravo. Next up, we've got John Smith. The the John Smith, I think, who helped settle Jamestown. Wow, impressive. Wow, I know, right? Uh, their top five favorite Pokemon are Mew, Mewtwo, Darkrai, Lucario, and Dialga. So, okay. You know, pretty impressive, pretty impressive. Definitely like some- Didn't know some, Pokemon was around back then, but- some, oh, Well, you know. These are some long, la they are legendary Pokemon, so I guess it makes sense, except Lucario. Bam, all right, Dark Teardrop Energy, the Capsa Kid, the Potion, the Buizel, the Retrieval, the Balloon, the Kilowattro, man, after such a good pack, the Research will score, the Lechonk won't, and the Houndstone, just a single point there, so that's going to be two overall. John Smith had 11 points coming into the day, so 13 points total now, uh, just sort of padding uh, Team Grass from the background there. And we are down to our final pack of the day. It is Jess. Jess. It's Jess. It's Jess. I can't Jess. not sing it. I know, right? Can't not sing it. Yeah. All right, Jess. Can't uh, as ever. At some point, the best pack has to be the last pack. Maybe today's the day. Maybe today. I think uh, is Jess also a fellow aquarist. Oh, it does. He's a hobby aquarist and road cyclist. How about that? We've had our aquarists in the day. I feel like there's been like we've had all the Lawrence. We've had uh, a batch of rookies. Well, yeah. We didn't have any last week at yeah. all. Um, there's been a big content, like a lot of contention for that that last place yep. uh, position. So uh, Jess has five points coming into the Jess day. Jess has five points coming into the day. Maybe maybe Jess and um, Jazzy J Truther need to like 
uh, hook up and talk talk aquarium. I know, yeah, maybe, maybe right? so. There we go. Yep, absolutely. The the palmy, the cactern, the drift blim. Trying to make sure I haven't missed anything so far. The mezagoza, the silicobra will not score. The toad scroll will not score, and the arboliva. Oh, so sadly, not going to be uh, the best pack of the day as the last pack. But eventually, we will have saved the best for last. Eventually, one day or another. One day or another. That's all. That's all. I couldn't make up new lyrics. <laughs> I know. I was like, maybe on the fly we can do this, but we can't. We no, can't as far it, as I got. Yeah. Um, guys, as ever, thank you so much for your support of the show, for tuning in. And if you're one of the patrons who is participating in the game, it has been so much fun for us. Again, if you are interested in getting in on a future episode of Box Breakers, uh, we are currently sold out. However, we do have a wait list available that you can add your name to, and we will let you know if any room it does open up in the future. So you can go and check those out. Um, otherwise, I'm getting super excited to get into our third packs of the season because we're really going to start to see that final shakeout, the final showdown, the if you will. Yeah, indeed. So, um, like, lots of lots of big new competitions are really going to come center fold, specifically Big Steve, first place, uh, quality eighth place. I think there's going to just be moves and, and makers happening. Yeah, once we get into those third packs, that's when it really starts getting exciting, staring at the leaderboard. The real question is whether or not Margo will hang on. I know, I know. Like, every episode, Margo must just be like, please, no one get the Miriam. No know, one get on, the Miriam. Come on! You know, because I think it came down to the last episode last time where someone else pulled the alt art Lugia V and like really made a run for it. Right, yes, it yeah. was like like 200 points all yeah. at once. It was absolutely amazing. So you never know what can happen in this game. Lots of exciting stuff still to come. Uh, but otherwise, guys, until next time. Bye! bye.